So yeah, we're gonna be doing this. I have a lot to say about Tartarus overall. I've got a lot of opinions on the level. So here it is, the beast, the, the Tartarus, as it were. So you got this first jump, don't know how to do it. Uh, so this pre-drop's a pain in the ass, obviously. I mean, there were pre-drops, but yeah, no, yeah, red levels, mm, it definitely, it definitely loses a point by being red. Like, what is this? This is great gameplay, I love it. Then you got this weird ass UFO that, yes, I have to like go down into it in order to make that click. If I'm too high up, I'll show you. You, oh, never mind. And then there's like a free cube section. So, okay, the pre-drop isn't like that bad. And then this wave is also like buggy. If you go like, if you just do one click and go into there, you usually die. It's just an awkward wave overall. And then you get a little bit of a break actually. Well, kind of. And then this shape flies like the dumbest part of the level. What is that? So here's what's interesting. If you do three clicks, your like ball flies up. Like, huh? Learn something new. That is possible. You could just be a cube. And then the rest of the copper's not that bad. Bam, bam, bam. No, dude, this, this one click is impossible. There we go, I think. Yes. No, this will not be called something dumb with Nepesta. Not this time. I'm probably gonna make this into a sort of series where I play levels that I don't really, that are like out of my skill range. Well, not my skill range. I mean, I'm Kino. still technically in my skill range, but no, no, like levels that I don't think I want to put forth all the effort of like beating, but I still want to like talk about it and play through it a bit. Dude, this is, this is an ass balls part. And then you get a free swing copter. Now this is dumb. Watch this. If you like hold up into this thing, it's working for some reason, but half the time you just like die. No, oh, I guess it wants to work. I'll, I'll give this level praise where it's due. The second half is much easier, which I like in a level for sure. These uh, blue orbs are interesting as in I hate them. Yeah, like, something, like that can happen. I don't know, if that happened from zero, I, that might be my final day of Geometry Dash. I would not be very happy. This wave is weird. I'll be the first to say that. I would die here so many times if I would ever try to beat this. I'm not saying I would though. I would never try to beat this. This is way too hard for me to want to beat. The first thing I want to do is try to pass the pre-drop from zero. I'm going to try to do the level in like three to four runs. It's kind of like my final goal for today. I hate the color red, dude. Look at it. Just look at it. Could people just find green to be like the hell color or something? I much prefer to look at green all the time than red. Or if it must be in the warm color family, why not like a, like a pastel orange, you know? But no, we got bright, painful red. Whose idea was that anyway? Was there like, which religion, dude? Which which one did it? See, you can like do, wait, let me, let me try to do it for you guys. Like where you jump off that thing. It doesn't always work all the time. Five! I know, Chad, I know. It's hard to believe, but it's real. I did it. I got five. Dude, okay. No one wants to jump over this goddamn monster barf guy all the time dude whatever whatever you want to call this dude like seriously who wants to jump over this monster with like obvious dental problems and freaking every attempt he only has six teeth altogether but who knows maybe that's normal for a species or he could have like an ingrown tooth like it's just one one two but six but it's not seven i'm not satisfied i'm not satisfied yet here it comes here it comes here it comes <gasps> wait 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 yeah cool <laughs> awesome let's go let's pass the ship thing first row the imposter ship Yeah? Okay. Let's just pass, like, the whole dropship first try. Woo! Okay. Run made to 31. I'm awesome. I'm very happy with my work there. I mean, 31 and 6 are basically the same thing. Okay, so in order to, you know, follow my quest to do the level, like, three or four runs, we should probably do this to, like, I don't know, what do you, what do you think is good? Like, the swing copter, maybe? Do you think we can get there? Or, at the very least, the straight fly if I can't pass it? <laughs> first, I have to pass this dumbass... Fixed hitbox bullcrap. What's the last Undertale song in the playlist? Uh, I mean, I've only listened to it like 40 times or something, so I think I should know, but I don't. Probably the piano thing. She's playing the piano. That's my guess. It's either last goodbye or she's playing the piano. Curious now. Good night. That was neither of, that was none of my answers. What's the last song in the playlist you've listened to? Like, more often than your teachers in class. Oh, I don't know. Cool. Listen to your teachers in class, by the way. Don't be me. To be fair, yesterday, my freaking current events teacher started a whole hour and a half conversation about The Bachelor. Holy crap. I don't care about The Bachelor or whatever the generic dude's name is or whatever the generic girl's names are. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But I, I know now. I know way more than I ever wanted to know because I'd sit through that hour and a half conversation. I freaking hate The Bachelor. Like, on, on my list of vendettas, it's pretty high up there. You got, like, The Bachelor. Bachelor, chocolate, listening to Kronix's playlist, Kinos. It's literally just the spikes decide whether or not they want to touch you today. Okay. There we go. Dude, 36 to 56. What is my favorite subject in school? Computer science. If you're like 
a sophomore and you're into computers, you could go to RIT. I don't think you'd want to go to college with me, though. And you especially wouldn't want to room with me. Holy crap. Can you imagine rooming with me? I can't imagine rooming with me. And I'm me. All right, time to play Mania for three hours. <laughs> the dude who made the original black emoji speedrun thing actually apologized to me on Twitter. It had gone that far, which the creator of the original meme had found out of what had happened. It's just crazy. Way more people have viewed me as a meme, technically, than as what I actually am. I just think it's really funny to see the people in the comments. There's people who are like, I guarantee 14 years old that are like, you know, I hate to be philosophical, but <laughs> you know what that is? That is someone typing out a poop essay. You know, the dumbest part isn't the comment. It's the fact that people then have to reply to that comment and then it becomes like a whole thing. My parents and brother would play GD. I mean, my brother used to. And then he got to Hexagon Forest. He was like, whoa, slow down. I'm not doing that. There's two of them. And then that was the end. The stray flies is ruining my day. Screw you, whoever put that in there. You, I hope you have an awful day. I hope your day blows. I have indeed seen the Nepesta reaction meme. I was also the one who did it. My my optometrist told me, don't always look at the screen, look away a bit. You know, actually fun fact, that's what I was doing at the uh, the beginning of my keynote video. I was looking away from the screen so my eyes could like refocus and I guess it worked because I beat it. No, dude. Okay, but at least we passed the wave. The run is soon. Dude, stop. Watch school. Don't watch my stream. Watch your school. You gotta learn stuff, dude. You gotta learn stuff so you can be a man one day. Being a hardworking man. You gotta do your school, you know? All right, all right, all right. Controversial opinion. What the hell is Chile doing? It's taking up like all the coastline. It's a dick. It's just got the whole coastline and it doesn't let any of the other guys have it. Kind of like that Croatia deal. Isn't, isn't it Croatia the one that's like a big claw thing trapping the other country from getting to the freaking coast? Like you really need all that beach, bro? Declare war then. Yeah, Nathan Pesto declares war against Chile. I'm sure it's survived. I know too much history because of AP US history, which by the way, dumbest class ever. Call, incoming call, dad. Hold on, dad, incoming call. I'm getting five guys. That's right. I'm getting, I am getting five guys. Usually that, that happens when I get an incoming call from mom. When it's incoming call from dad, I'm usually screwed. If I get incoming call from dad, I like die. But this time I met five guys, which definitely increases my odds of looking forward to incoming call from dads. And I played through every single route. Damn it, dude. I'm nope. That's nope. Did it. Don't care. I'm just gonna start from there. Yeah, a Wednesday is a Wednesday. I can't really say I view it in a very different light either. All the other days, I have like pretty clear ideas on how I view them, and then Wednesday, it's just, it just happens. The other days, you're either dreading or anticipating, and then Wednesday, it's just it's kind of in the middle, so you're just like neutral about it all. I get Monday off, by the way, and you know what Monday is? Monday is Deimos Day. That's right. I beat Deimos a year ago on Monday, the 17th of February. Stop the bargain, Parker. What? <laughs> Stop the bargain. I just read the bargain. Cool. I like that bargain. Hi, hi, Parker. I'm down to make a bargain for that, bro. No, he's dude. I don't. Parker didn't give me a. T I just syndicate my hi, Parker. What a fraud. Yeah. I don't care if you're broke. You don't make deals without executing them. Do I have my phone back? I'm looking at it to talk to you. So no, it was eaten. Sucks. Okay, thank you for the two euros. I'm not an emo, bro. I'm a jovial man. I am a happy, content, and caring person. I am gonna become an emo though, if that keeps happening. Ah! What? Ah! What? Don't just scream, what? What is it? You need to eat your food. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if I can bring it upstairs. Oh, balls. I can't eat my food upstairs, so I have to finish. I Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do speed round freaking Tartarus, unfortunately. Watch this, I'm gonna do it like first try. Come on, I, okay. And that's it. <laughs> Dude, you know what I, I should have my editor like edit all the runs together so it looks like I beat it.
and that's it. So how do we do this? I kind of want to talk about Tartarus a bit. All right, I'll be honest. I'm really not a big fan of Tartarus just because it seems like it was really only made for the sake of difficulty, which it kind of obviously was. I don't like the fact that it's really kind of inaccessible, inaccessible if you're not very good at the game, unlike levels like Zodiac. I never liked Zodiac, but... The fact that I think it was long and the gameplay seemed like you could try if you really, really wanted to, to grind it out. I kind of like that with Tartarus. I don't really get that sensation. I feel like if you're not as good at the game, you're not going to have the same motivation to play it as much. And that kind of dampens my mood overall regarding the level. I think that a top one should be somewhat accessible it's kind of a turnoff plus the decoration sucks and a lot of the a lot of the challenge comes from the transitions that really just don't work right i, I guess that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed uh, i had a pretty good time screwing around with this i wish i had a little bit more time so i could like work out the end parts a little bit better i have a pretty big video coming up after that which i hope you guys are able to make it too goodbye